What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Full Major. This is Call to the Lamb, and I have a few quick tips for you to get you started. If you started playing this game over the weekend and you're struggling a little bit with resources, which is a common problem in the game. So generally, when we start out with our base, there are trees and rocky areas which you can excavate all around and that's able to provide you with lumber and stone that you need to be able to build a lot of the early structures but very soon you'll realize that those trees they run out and then take quite a few days to actually grow up to full length full height full age or whatever again so that you can actually then chop them down again now there are some areas in the game that you can go to to actually get more of these raw materials and of course, you can actually go out into the wilds, do some dungeon runs, do some, you know, raids as or whatever you want to call them and actually get some of those resources. But there are some structures which you should be targeting as your first upgrades as soon as you get into tier one. And I will share that with you right now. So if we just look at the divine inspiration upgrade path right here, of course, we start, we start down here at the temple. And once we are by four of these bottom ones here well actually i think you have to buy three and then you get over then you get unlock this area here then we get access to the three very very important structures that you should be aiming to build first the first one being a lumber yard the second one being a stone mine and then third definitely look at getting yourself an offering statue or multiples of them now when it comes to the wood and stone this this is what the structure looks like and basically what it does is it allows one of your minions to go into it and essentially generate that resource over time they're basically working inside it and generating it now these have a set amount of resources that they can produce and then they will collapse and you'll have to rebuild them and that's why i actually saved this here for you to see so as you can see over time it'll just sort of like build this up and you'll get a whole bunch of resources and as soon as it collapses then what you'll notice is one of my guys just dying <laughs> what you'll notice is that then it will disappear and then you can actually basically rebuild it now what you have to do at that point in time is simply go here and you can just actually build yourself two new ones you'll see two of mine collapse i'll put two down and basically how it works is two uh, one one of your minions can work in it in a time now while i just explain this to you guys i'm just quickly going to clean this situation up here so one of your guys can work on it at a time and again there's a sweet spot for how many of these you should have and this is definitely to do with how many minions you have now, at the moment right now i have i think 16 minions and so for me the sweet spot was that i have four of each so i have four of the wood mills and four of the stone mills and that way eight of my minions would be working on them at any given time now i don't specifically assign them to it so i basically just let them wander over there and do some mining and then over time those resources actually build up to quite a lot and we are able to sort of circumvent any problems that we might have had with not having access to lumber and not having access to stone because of course we need all of that to build everything else that you see here so it is a super super important resource so that's point number one then when it comes to the offering tables now that you can see here i went for the three by three nine configuration i don't think you need quite as many as this i think for the longest of times i was just running with four but essentially what this structure does is over time your minions will just buy themselves walk over there and they'll just leave you something on there now sometimes this can be really stupid stuff like they'll leave you like six coins which really is not worth all that much but sometimes they'll leave you actual recipe food that you need to create great food from the game but other times they'll also leave you really really valuable crafting material like gold bars and for instance you know some of the later tier 2 and tier 3 materials and all you can do is you can simply just harvest this and like i said over time you don't have to do anything specific to earn this they will just slowly over time go in and drop all those resources in there for you and you can just go and harvest it easy peasy lemon squeezy so that's it just two little quick tips this will get you started the first time i played the game i ran into this running out of wood issue and i kind of had to waste a whole bunch of in-game days while i was waiting for things to regrow so i could actually just get a bunch of wood and get my base off the ground right from the beginning but hopefully this helps you with some of that let me know in the comments down below any tips that you might have for me i'm thoroughly enjoying this game i'm on my third pass through the game right now it really really is awesome and if you haven't tried it out yet please do it's a fantastic experience but that's it for me thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world 
And until next video, fucking cheers. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me.